Let's go to Esther chapter 7. Let's go to verse 9. Zalina, you have the floor tonight. You will be serving as the official uh, person of the order of the diaconate tonight. You will be serving as the official presider and the reader tonight. You'll be doing the reading of the sacred scripture. That's a big thing. That's pretty big. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My heart is filled. My heart is filled. My heart is filled. My heart is filled with joy. My heart is filled. Oh yes, my heart is filled. Oh yes, my heart is filled. It is filled with joy. Hallelujah. Oh, my heart is filled. My heart is filled. My heart is filled. With peace, with peace, oh, with peace. My heart is filled, yeah. My heart is filled, yeah. My heart is filled. With power, yeah. With power. My heart is filled, oh, yes. Mm. My heart is filled. Oh yes, <laughs> my heart is filled mm. with laughter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! My heart is filled. <laughs> my heart is filled. <laughs> my heart is filled. Ha ha ha! With laughter. Yeah, 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 my heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. 
Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom, boom, boom. Red rage is boom, boom. My heart is filled. Come on, do a little dancing. My heart is filled. Dance for him. Dance for him. Dance for him. My heart is filled. Boom, boom. We're dancing. Come on, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't hold it back. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom. We're dancing. Woo, 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 woo. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. With Jesus. Woo, 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 woo. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Bam, 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 my heart is filled. Bam, 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 with glory. Whoa, glory, 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 my heart is filled. Boom, 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 my heart is filled. Boom, 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 my heart is filled. Boom, 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 with God's glory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom, boom, boom. With the Holy Ghost. Whoa, whoa. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Bam, bam, bam. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. With the Holy Ghost. Whoa, 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 whoa. My heart is filled. With riches, with riches, with riches. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. With riches. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heaven, heaven, heaven. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. My heart is filled. Boom, boom, boom. My heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. With heaven. See what you are singing. You are seeing that your heart is filled with heaven. That's a big thing. Come on, let's sing it. Our heart is filled. Stand up and do a little dance. Our heart is filled. Our heart is filled. Our heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. With heaven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our heart is filled. Doom, 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 doom. Our heart is filled. Boom, 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 boom. Our heart is filled. Boom, boom, boom. With heaven. <laughs> My heart is filled with heaven. That's big. That's the biggest thing that I want my heart to be filled with. Is with heaven. I am filled with heaven. I am filled with heaven. Every good thing in heaven. I am filled with heaven. Oh, I am filled with heaven. I am filled with heaven. I am filled with heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Jesus, I am filled with Jesus. I am filled with Jesus. I am filled with Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I am filled with Jesus. I am filled with Jesus. Oh, I am filled with Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's sing once more. Let's sing one more. I am filled with money, 
Bum bum, I am fair. If you don't sing this one, then I know that something is wrong with you. I am fair with money, 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 money. A lot of it. Come on, I am fair with houses, houses. I am fair with houses, houses. I am fair with money, 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 money. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't sing this one, then I know something is wrong with you. Yes, sir. <laughs> I am filled with money. Money, a lot of it. See, what you are singing is what is happening to you. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I am filled with favor. I am filled with favor. I am filled with favor. Favor, 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 favor. I am filled with favor. I am filled with health. Health. I am filled with health. Whoa. Favor, health, favor, favor. Whoa, with surprises. And let's go. One, two, three, four. I am filled with surprises. I am filled with surprises. God is surprising me. I am filled with surprises. Surprises, surprises, surprise prices. I am filled with happiness, happiness. I am filled with happiness, happiness. I am filled with happiness, happiness. I am happy. Yes, so. Yes, so. Yes, so. Yes, so. Yes, so. Even children are singing on the line. That's so good. Even children are singing. Yes, so. I am filled with joy. Oh, I am filled with joy. I am filled with joy. Joy, 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 joy. I am filled with honor. I am filled with happiness. I am filled with heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Fill with riches. Fill with expectation. I'm full of it. I'm full of expectation of good things to happen to me. See, what you are saying is what God is doing. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Sing with me. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, 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 hallelujah. Sing with me, he said, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, 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 hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, amen. Oh, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Amen, amen, hallelujah. Mm. 
Glory, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen. Lord, we ask for this gift and spirit of worship, the manifestation of heaven, the worship in our midst. The manifestation of the spirit and operation of prayers in our midst. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. She lele baku kanta la sente. We plead the blood of Jesus for deliverance tonight. We plead the blood of Jesus for deliverance tonight. We plead the name of Jesus to go into warfare for us tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we ask for angelic ministries over our cities and nations. We plead the blood of Jesus. We ask for angels to go into war on the behalf of us, your sons. Hallelujah. Yelo kantomba sekayende. Mokole basaki tandi le bekote saki yende balakunte bakaseta e bakulinte kende kasile moko poseke ne le bakunte la kashanto e bakule busente la kinda bakunta manto ko seke le banto kanti kende kente bakike usi le keli banto le kasinde le be Lo konde kashante le kandu basunte kentabulu saki la bokonda sende kontatu kantu bikati kele kasati bakunde le sende kondembo so konde kalila bakota ndi kasanti le bokonda sende mola kunta basika ndi kalikambunde le kesende Mako kali kandele se kando vose Mokando si kanda kapasu kali galieri Kele basako e kandi bako cheki dey Matoko kaki la kanta basi kande kasho E malu kande sele bako tine Sakanda wakika bas Moko de kashi nebi yuwa Glory, glory, glory. Tonight is miracle night. It is the Lord's Passover. Le kali shata le yade le tsi kali ala shiali. Mighty things will be exposed. Mighty things will be exposed. Things that were locked up will be open tonight. Ha, 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 ha. Things that were died down will be released right now. They are being released. Those who are sick are being healed. God is giving gift to us because we are serving him. You can never belong to him without getting something tangible in return. Ha, 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 ha. The books of remembrance have been opened tonight. The books of remembrance have been opened tonight. The books of remembrance have been opened tonight. She bali ala kashane. 
Melo kote basoke ye. Malu kandi basaka yinbe bakun kele kabanto. God has ordered that the book of event of earth and heaven be presented before him. And what you have done so far is being remembered tonight. This is the night that the Lord remembers all your givings. All the good things that you've been doing. You thought you were doing it for man. And God said the reward is beginning tonight. Tonight is the night. The turning point night. That is tonight. The night of the turning point. Because the book of remembrance is being read. About what each of us have done for the past seven years is being read tonight before heaven. Angels are lining up and they are picking your books and they are reading your works before the throne of God. Hallelujah! I am excited. My book is being read in heaven tonight. The book of remembrance of the good things that I've done have been read. Hallelujah. Thank God. Yes, Lord. Go ahead. Let's hear your song. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's go to Esther chapter 7. Let's begin at verse 9. You see, there is the king's right hand man. He's busy doing his own thing. And people around the king knew. And they didn't say anything. But now, because of events, they are now telling the king what Herman was about to do. And the king said, you know what? Take this man to his gower that he built and hang him there. What somebody built against you will be used against him or her. They trap the pit that they dug for you, the person who dug it will be the one that will be buried in it. Let me tell you, when it comes to divine history, please, you can write this down. When it comes to divine history, things happen very, very fast. Please, be, that's why you have to be ready at all times. When it comes to divine history, things happen pretty quick. From making the gallo to parading Mordecai in honor, to now begging for his life, and now his face was covered. And now they are leading him handcuffed. They handcuffed him and now laid him away. What happened to Vashti is about to happen to Haman. 
Vashti was the queen. She was demoted and removed and stayed as sexist concubine and no longer a queen. And Esther took her place. After hard work, it, didn't, it was not just given, she worked hard for it. Why is it that people who are given power do not learn how to be humble and how to ask the king before they do something or ask the person who is in charge before they do something? They think that because they've been given position that they can just do whatever they had they want. So it tells us that many things that Haman was doing, he did not tell the king about it. And he thought that Whenever he comes into the king's throne, he can do whatever he wanted. And he forgot who made him to be the first official of the kingdom was the king. Who made Vashti a queen? Who accepted him to be a queen? The king. It was sexist. Please listen carefully. There are people who are not used to leadership and rulership. They are not used to it. So if you give them money, you give them the best things of this world, you give them positions of power, they will become rude, arrogant, and do not know what to do with it. They will use it to destroy themselves. Vasti used People do not know how fluid, how sensitive money and material resources and position of authority is, how they are. That those things are given to you for service, but that your primary alliance and loyalty lies with the royal one. That's why God withdrew himself many a times from a lot of people. Because they cannot handle money, they cannot handle wealth, they cannot handle power, position of authority. They will destroy everybody with it. It was the king who asked you to save as his queen. Why not listen and go his way? And Vashti wanted to do her own thing. She lost everything. Haman wanted to do his own thing. He now has lost his own life. What we are learning from them is this. Even though this is still ancient feud, tomorrow's people. Please, please listen to me. Know where your power come from. Know who gave it to you. And that person is your first loyalty. Amen. Instead of Haman using his position to protect the king and to do good, he used it to fight everybody. He became very arrogant. Instead of him following the king and going to beg for his life, he went to kneel before the queen and to went to beg for his life from somebody who has pronounced his own judgment, who has pronounced judgment against him. He became confused, drunk with wine, with wine, happy and swollen with foolishness and swollen with arrogancy. He didn't know what to do because all of evil omen that she reads the wife prophesied who said if Mordecai is a Jew if he follows the God of heaven the maker of heaven and earth you will not prevail against him you will only be defeated and conquered and destroyed because of him let me tell you because of you many people will fall and because of you many people will rise. Simon took Jesus in his arm 
when they went in to bless Jesus in the temple as a little boy, say to the mother, this boy will be a sign for the falling and rising of many people. I'm just putting it in my own word. And that's what you are. You are a set up against the organization of darkness and wicked people. And you are a set up for the rising of many people. Because of you, God is going to raise a lot of people. And because of you, God is going to remove a lot of people out of the show. And now, Vashti is gone. Esther is sneaked in. Herman is, is on his way to the garden. He cannot plead for his life. He cannot run because they've already covered his face with black cloth and they chained him and laid him away. This is somebody who was the first official, had everything five minutes ago or ten minutes ago. And now they are leading him to go and hang him and kill him before his family members and friends. And do you know what that means? It means when the crowd saw Herman being led to his crucifixion, people were like shocked. One minute you are a billionaire. Next minute you are homeless. And that is the judgment against the wicked. Because of one man, you want to kill everybody. Because of your policy, you want to destroy everybody. You are not going to escape. Because you were carefully set up for destruction. And your destruction is going to be the resurrection of many people. Please write this down. While some people were set up for destruction, their destruction will be my resurrection. <laughs> Hallelujah! Their destruction is your resurrection. These are hard stuff. Let's see what happened. Keep reading, my dear. And it says the king's, the king's own rot. The king's rot was abated. Which means the king was okay now. Let's go to verse 10. The king's wrath subsided. You see, this kind of thing almost cost Joseph his life. Joseph was first bought by Potiphar. He began to brag about how there is nobody who is bigger or greater than him in this house except his master. And Joseph was stupid enough because he was young. He didn't know no better. He was naive. When you start to boast that there is nobody greater than you in somebody else's house, are you serious? And you forgot that the man has a wife. And that not even your master is as great as the woman. <laughs> And even if she lied against you, that's what the husband will believe. And Joseph thought that being innocent and being nice and being hardworking is going to solve the problem. No. There's more than that. Do you understand honor? Do you understand who has the power? For your money, for your riches. Who has God provided for those things? 
We are not saying that uh, Joseph should go and become a gigolo. But he was boasting. Nobody is greater in this house except my master. But that was not true. The person that was as great as the master and even bigger, whom the, whom the master respect and honor and bow down before, is the wife. And that wife decided to set Joseph up. And Joseph fled. Here is Vashti bragging. She lost it. Here is Haman. Nobody's greater than me in this kingdom. She lost it. He lost it, please. Sorry. He lost it. He lost it. Know your limitation. And know your strength. Please keep reading. Chapter 8, verse 1. On that day, King Ahasuerus gave Queen Esther the house of Haman. Okay, listen. Wait, 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 wait. Let me reach, let me reach there. You are getting too fast for me. I just read 10, now we're chapter 8. Okay, so we are in chapter 8, verse 1. Let's go. Yes. On that day, King Ahasuerus gave Queen Esther the house of Haman, the enemy of the Jews. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told how he was related to her. Now you see. Do you see? Do you see it now? It's now a family business. <laughs> Woo. Now the king now is able to add things together. He said, ah, is that the reason why you put him at the gate? And Queen Esther said, yeah. So that he can be an eye and an ear for us at the gate. So I see. So Esther now said, bring Mordecai in and let me officially introduce Mordecai to the court of the king. And she now did. The king now gave the estate, that's the right word, not just the house. The right word there is estate. The estate of Haman was given over to Queen Esther. Now imagine how vast that guy's estate was and how many years of official service with the king that the king gave him all of that. Because this guy, this king was a very generous king. And you can tell that he was a godly person. Even though it is not reported that he worshipped the God of heaven who has made the heavens and the earth. It's not reported in the Bible. But you can see through his way of life, the way he conducts business, that he was a godly person. That's where I learned that many a time you don't need to be a religious person to be godly. There is another kind of religion that I call the religion of conscience. But, but that does not negate the fact that the way to the God of heaven is Jesus the Messiah. That doesn't negate that fact. That's an established law. And that's an established way. Because this kind of people, all they need to know is to come to the fullness of God through Christ. And get baptized, get delivered, get baptized in the Holy Ghost. Keep reading, my dear. So now, Esther is running the estate of heaven. Do you know the meaning of that? Do you know the meaning of that? Let's see it again. And on that day, did King Ahasuerus, that's Texas, give the house of Haman, the Jewish enemy 
unto Esther the queen. Do you get it? Do you know why the king gave the estates of Haman to Esther? Do you know the reason? Who knows why? Why was the estates, the right word there is estates, Because this guy was like royalty. Why was the royal house of Haman given to Queen Esther? Who knows? Because of Esther, she died. Because of what? Because of Esther, Haman died. Well... Yeah, that's 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 part of it. That's part of it, Queen Victoria. Okay, yeah. Because that was the king's property. The estate of Haman was given to him by Esther's husband, the king. Okay, that's part of it. So he's now taking back. Everything he gave to Haman, the king reassigned it. The title, the deeds changed within one day. So it means that the wife, the children, who knows how many wives he had? The wives, the children, buildings, lands, horses, everything that he has, money was inherited by Esther, by the decree of the king. Now, why did the king did this? Why was it given to Esther? The king should have just taken it back because Esther doesn't need it. Esther has the entire kingdom. So why, why, why will she be the administrator, the owner, the titular owner? Of something that belongs to a duke or something that belonged to a prince. Because remember, people of God, remember this. Haman was the first official prince of Medopatia. And this is the way he ended. That's why I tell every one of you be careful about when you see arrogant people. I've seen how they come and go. This is just an example of it. Why was that estate given to Queen Esther? To be the owner of it and to administer it and to do whatsoever she wanted with it. Huh? Uh, Florence, Pl Florence, tell me, please. Well, uh, I don't think he, the reason he gave it to her is because she demonstrated that she uh, took part in saving his life, the conspiracy that was happening. So he rewarded her uh, for her act of, uh, you know, protection in the matter of which she was protecting the king. Okay. Thank you, Florence. I know. No. That's uh, the answer. Okay, go ahead. Because, um, it's because Esther took Haman's place now. Okay. Esther took well, but 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 Haman was not in Esther's place. But what you are saying is true, in a sense. The king now has must have another right hand person, and the queen, the queen's rulership, um, is no longer at the background but now in public. Because remember that Esther was still a new queen. Because you're going to see that the position of Haman must be filled. It's not Esther's position. Esther is a queen. Yeah. Haman is a prince. Haman is under Esther and under Esther's husband. Somebody should try. Okay.
Listen to this. Did it belong to, did it belong to Queen Vashti prior to Haman? Did it bring to did it belong to Queen Vashti? No. 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 It didn't. Okay, let me give you the answer. If we go back to chapter 7 towards the last verses, after Esther, um, after Haman was hanged and he died, and they removed him out of this earth, they took his life out of him. What did the Bible say? And the king's what? And the king's what? Huh? was pacified. Now let's put it in a simple word. The king's anger was subsided, was gone. Now apart from the king who was really angry here, even though he's not spoken out, somebody spoke Somebody spoke about, during the Women's Forum this afternoon, somebody spoke about um, that Esther was very tactical. She was angry. The king was angry, Esther was angry. Even though she did not demonstrate it, but you can see the way that she laid the coup de grace and carry out the coup d'etat against Haman. Towards the end, is this wicked Haman who has done this? You can see towards the end, you see her anger. After Haman died, the king's anger subsided. The king gave the estates of Haman to Esther, in order to pacify her anger, to make up with Esther and say, listen, I had no idea that this was going on. I'm sorry. If I let you down, it will never happen again. I'll watch out for you and your people. I know you are angry and I'm angry too over these kind of issues. We'll never allow this to happen again. This is my token for you. It's a little, it's a little peanut. His estate is a little peanut. Just take it, take it. Do whatever you wanna do with it, and don't be angry no more. Oh, you have to pacify her. Mm -hmm. But because it, it Remember that the king said to Esther, when they came the first day, the second day. To, the, to our banquet, the king said, even half of my kingdom, I'll give it to you. And you know what that means? That's why we asked that question during the afternoon. What do a woman has that a man doesn't have? What constitutes the greatness of a woman? Tactfulness, calmness, gracefulness, intelligence. Choicey. She make choices, not just accept anything. She look into things in detail. And finally, she's very calculating. And finally, when she speaks, it carries power. It's well carefully choreographed, carefully worked out. She wanted things to be handled decently, like adults. You see, the, the adult among three of them was the queen. The way she handled things made the king to know, I married the right girl. I married a girl who doesn't just blow off, who speaks very little and is like me. You look, you speak very little, 
you act. When you act, you act with power. Remember the king has said to Esther, even half of my kingdom I'll give to you. So what is Herman's estate? Peanuts. It's like saying, yeah, we let him go forever. We'll never see him anymore. We'll replace him. Do you know why Esther presented the uncle finally to the king? As the person who raised her? Look at that. And Mordecai came before the king. All this time Mordecai has never come before the king. Has never entered into that palace. He's always out there. He now came before the king. For Esther, the queen, had told uh, had told what he was unto her. This is my uncle. This is the man that raised me. And Mordecai came and bowed before the king. You see, let me share something mysterious here. Mordecai, just like Esther that she raised, Esther and Mordecai had a tradition. We don't deal with the cheap. The second class, the top class, and the fourth. We don't deal. We deal with the top class. We deal with the king only. We bow to the king only. Why? That's where the power is. That's where the power stops. That's where the power begins. The baker and the cup bearer. We're leaving the prison. Who did Joseph appeal to? I am first class. When you go to Pharaoh, your master, put a word on my behalf. For I did nothing wrong and I'm here, being detained for no reason. Tell him about me. Tell him about how I've interpreted your dream. Maybe some days he need a dream to be interpreted. I will give my services. That's what the Bible says. Go and read it. You'll see it. And some days he had surely he had a dream. And they now needed his services. Joseph appealed to Pharaoh directly. Who are you appealing to directly? Tell me. Who? Esther entered the palace of the king and was not after the food or beauty or all of that. She was after the king. You got the king, you got everything. Mordecai was after protecting his daughter Esther and protecting her husband. I'm bowing only to his daughter. Are you aware that when Mordecai come to the presence of the queen, he bowed, knelt and prostrated on the floor before the very daughter whose, whose butt he wiped. Are you aware of that? And then he bowed before her husband, the king. What are we learning in all these stories? You only bow before the Lord God and before the person whose signature, your life is in his signature. That's the person you bow to. And that's where Mordecai was looking at the king and the queen. I cannot have a daughter in there and an uncircumcised Amalekite is to rule over me. God is going to give you the estate of those who hate you. You will live to see it. 
the estate of those who didn't want you to be here, who didn't want you to survive, they will be long gone and you will take their place. It's coming. Amen. It's coming. Those who drove you out of their churches, criticized you, violently took away your rights, took you to court to go and disgrace you, they are next while well, you'll be at the top of the hill looking at what will be happening to them. Let's go to the next verse. Verse 2. Huh? Huh? For the king. Verse 2, okay. Okay. So the king took off his sign at ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it to Mordecai. And Esther appointed Mordecai over the house of Haman. Okay, now wait. Esther, wait, 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 wait. Read it again. Okay. So the king took off his sonnet ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it to Mordecai. And Esther appointed Mordecai over the house of Haman. Okay, listen to this. Are you guys getting the story now? Are you guys getting it? Remember that the king gave his signet ring. Haman was wearing the king's signet ring to show you he is the top dog of the kingdom, working for the king. What did the king of Egypt do? You remember? After Joseph had stuck himself into a job, gave himself a job, and found favor before the pharaoh, that particular pharaoh, he removed his signet ring and put it on Joseph. What does that mean? What does that tell you? The signet ring of a king. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. New York or DC. All right, let's continue. When when the ring, when when somebody who is a high official take off his ring and put it on you, on your finger, what does that mean? What did what did this mean? When when they so it means that before they took Herman to go out, to go and get rid of him, the king first took the ring off and put it in his pocket. And everything that that Herman should not die with, the king took it back right on the spot. He told them to get got taken. So Herman was paraded through the street. People came to come and watch as a criminal because that's who he was he was a criminal look 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 the king now took that ring and put it on the finger of mordecai and on that day what did queen esther do Esther now took the estates. See the protocol. The estates of Haman and handed it over to who? To the uncle. You know what that means? Do you know what that means? No. For the first time, A male Jew in the land of Medo-Persia wow. is, is the second in charge, is the third in charge of the kingdom. Because is King Sexes, King Ahasuerus, Queen Esther, who is the next person? Mordecai. Mordecai. So it means Mordecai took the place of who? Haman. Haman. And now had Haman's money, gold, silver, bronze, livestock, everything that he has, children, wives, 
everything that belonged to Herman. The estate of Herman now became the estate of Queen Esther. And who was who was running it for Queen Esther? Mordecai now has it. So you see Esther's name on the estate. You see the king's name on the estate. Is given to Queen Esther. And the person that is running it is who? Mordecai. Your enemy's estate has been given to you that he hated. This is this this is this is this is serious stuff, my dear. A man that hated you, you are now in charge of his estate, in charge of his children, in charge of his wife, in charge of his livestock, in charge of his bank account, everything you are now in charge of it. How what, how do this kind of thing happen in one single day? One single day, Mordecai was paraded through the streets as royalty now, a member of royalty. The same day, a member of the royalty was demoted and paraded through the street as a criminal. Isn't that interesting? So people were seeing two movies. A gatekeeper was paraded, was promoted. Then a prince was demoted and paraded through the same street to his house to go and die. One was paraded to get promoted. Another was paraded to go and die. Interesting, isn't it? This is what we call the sneaking in thing of God. Please write that down, Mary. You do a good job at that. The sneaking in thing of God. The sneaking in thing of God. Wow, I'm loving this. I do a little. Please, people, take take a take take a two second. Uh, you know, like some people go for cigarette break. Take a little dance break and do a little jig. Come on, come on. Let's take it going. Boom, 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 boom. La, 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 la. Sing a song, any song that come to you. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Woo, woo. Please stand up and do a little dance. Yeah. Whether you have buttocks or you don't have, shake whatever mama gave you. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Come on. Whether it is bones, shake those bones. It's a life for Jesus. Yeah. Shake it, 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 shake it. Yeah. Do a little dance. La, 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 la. <laughs> you know why I'm asking you to dance? If you didn't want to dance, you're doing yourself a great displeasure. Let me tell you why I'm asking you to, to dance. You are being promoted. That's why I'm asking you to dance. Hallelujah. This is a dance for those who have been promoted. I have been promoted tonight. That's why I'm dancing. That's how it should be. Hallelujah. Yep. Yeah. Woo. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Ha ha ha. Wow. Do you do you know that this is going to happen to you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. I want it. This is what we call the uprising. 
This is what we call the uprising. U-P-R-I-S-I-N-G. The uprising. This is it. God decided to rise for you and rise against your enemies. Write that down. That's the summary of Esther's story. God rose for you and God rose against the Egyptians. Rose for Esther, Mordecai, and the Jews and rose against Haman. One person made it look like it was the kingdom versus the Jews. No. It was Haman versus, the, uh, versus uh, Mordecai which now become versus all Jews. Look at it. Wow. So you are, you are now seeing what is happening. Mordecai got two things. Two things, in fact, three things are working for Mordecai. The good thing he did to watch out for the king. The good thing he did to raise Esther right. That's number two. Number three. Having her daughter in the palace at that time. Four. The fast thing. The fast thing and the prayer thing. Uh -huh. The fasting and the prayer thing. That is what escalated everything. It burst everything. It bent everything. And God then came in with the sneaky in thing. It's all about thing. Something is happening. I am looking for where that thing is happening. Rosalind, you hear me? That's what we are looking for, where that thing is happening. <laughs> I'm looking for it. Ah. Please keep reading. Keep reading. You see, number one, just as Haman wanted to put the chief of the Jews, which is Mordecai, away, so that the rest of the Jews is easy to destroy them all. Now, the chief enemy is gone. Let's see what happened to the rest of the story. Let's go. Let's go, baby girl. Let's go. Read. Read on. Let's hear. Uh-huh. Are you listening? Listening, listen, 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 listen. Esther. And Esther has brought Mordecai and introduced him to the king. And the king said, Oh, I remember you. You are the one that saved my life. Are you that Mordecai? He said, Yes. And Esther said, Esther prostrated herself, lay on the ground, and said, My Lord, that's my uncle. So what? That's the man who raised me. That's my father. And the king said, Who on here? Seriously? They said, Yes, my lord. The king then removed. It's okay. I figure it out now. The king now removed the ring and put it in the finger of Mordecai, which means, Join me. The man. Who raised this kind of girl to be this kind of queen? The man who came to my gates to look out for me, even though you don't know me. That's the man that should run this kingdom with me and with my queen. Yay! Yep. A man with integrity. Goodness and mercy shall... Please stand up and recite that sound. Surely, surely what? Goodness and your forever and mercy shall follow. 
shall follow me. Uh huh. And do it forever. And I will forever. This one is, I will live in the palace of the king forever and ever. Amen. That's what it is here. Woo! Do you know that that ring wasn't cheap? That was gold. For the first time, the eyes of, of Mordecai opened looking at a gold ring. A big fat gold ring in his hand that has the emblem of the king. And he's like, am I dreaming? Yeah. And then they brought the paperwork for him to sign. It has been signed out to him by Queen Esther. The scribe brought it. And he is, what is happening to me today? Let me speak like Indian people. Where is my Lizzie? Where is my Lizzie? <laughs> And you can hear, you can hear Mordecai just go, what is happening to me today? Can you imagine me? Look at poor me. Look at poor me. Huh? Today I've gotten promoted. Everybody now knows me in this city, in this kingdom. Now, I am now this, the, 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 a prince. Because only, only a prince wears the king's signet ring. Now I'm a prince. Are you serious? Really? I like the way, I like the way Indians talk when they are surprised, when good things happen to them. Say, are you serious? Come on, I couldn't believe this kind of thing will happen to me. I could not believe about this. I'm seriously, I could I can't believe this. And now I'm in charge of this man's, this dirty man's house. I'm now in charge of all his estate. Oh, bless me. I am very good. I'm very good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> and when, at that point, when they talk, they talk very fast. I can't believe that this is happening to me. I'm telling you. I cannot believe this. This is very, very fantastic. This is very good. This is good news. Please, people, come and celebrate with me. Come and celebrate with me. I'm good to go. I'm very good to go. This... <laughs> I love it. I love the Indian culture so much. That's why Lizzie doesn't want to give me up. <laughs> Oh boy, I love it. Now, can you read that verse 3 again? This is so good. I am loving this. Woo! I'm loving this like children. I'm loving this like children love McDonald's and chicken cheese for their birthday. Go ahead. Now, Esther spoke again to the king, fell down at his feet, and implored him with tears to counteract the evil of Haman and the Agagite and the scheme which he had devised against the Jews. See, even though this was her husband, when it came to official duty, she left it for him. She fell down before her king. Who do we see doing that kind of thing? Bathsheba. That's big. Another person we see doing that kind of thing, Abigail. Another person we see doing that kind of thing, Ruth. Another person we see doing that is Rebecca and Sarah. Those are big. Those are the big, those are the top people among the women. I mean, there are a lot of others, but I'm just saying those who do who do this, what we call the honor thing. The official duty of their husband. They are the first to show their husband. They, they yield to him as the king. And people, people came and bowed before Esther as the queen. Even though Mordecai, this is this is Mordecai's daughter. He bowed before her because she is the queen. Please, my king. Mordecai has made put together a decree. And I know you didn't know about this, my king. 
And she implored the king with tears. Why? Because the laws of Medo Persia were tough laws. When it is signed and put, even though nobody understands what is behind it, people must obey it. And that's why it's very bad to put a bad person in position of authority. A wicked and selfish people, everyone should do everything to deprive wicked people from being in position of authority. That's the only way you can save human lives. Deprive wicked people from being in position of authority. So Esther said to the king, I'm talking to you as the king. Counteract what he signed. Let's unsign it. Let's undo it. Undo it. Esther is not saying, I'm going to do it myself. She said, do you do it, my king. Because it was done in your name. You are the only one who can undo what he did. Let's see what happened then. All right, let's go on. And the king held out the golden scepter toward Esther and said, He said, read that place again, Selena. You yourself write a decree concerning the Jews. Do you know why he said so? Do you know why the king said so? Do you know why the king said this to Queen Esther and to Mordecai? Look at this. Look at how he started. This is the king talking to Esther. Then the king, king, then King Ahasuerus said unto Esther, the queen, and to Mordecai, speaking to two of them, he's telling them, you yourself write that letter. You know the reason why the king said that they are the one to write the, another decree to revoke what was already circulated. Do you, do you know why? Yeah. Do you know why? Because it was not the king that wrote the other letter. It was someone who wrote in the name of the king and gave it to the king to read. And the person also signed in the name of the king. <laughs> and in the name of the kingdom... Now, as the queen and the first prince of the kingdom. People of God, did you hear that Mordecai was promoted after some election? That he won an election? That he contested an election, a democratic elected uh, something. And then because of that, he was honored, and now he was made an official prince. Listen to me. The little victory 
and the little parade that is being done for you is going to result in a bigger parade that is going to be done for you. The little blazing you are seeing, a hundred dollars in your mailbox as an inheritance money, tomorrow will become a million dollars in that same mailbox. Somebody told you, oh, you do not need to, you do not need to be living and paying, um, paying uh, rent uh, on other people's apartment. I have a condo. I'm going to sell it in three years time. Come and live in it so that you can also take care of it. It's beautiful and you go and look at it. By the time you know it, the person come and say, I'm sending a U-Haul to you. You can use it, afford it, move your things, move in. Here is the key, take care of it. And you move in. And you move in. After a few weeks later, the person came back and said, listen, we had a meeting concerning you. And we as a family have decided we have so many houses. That's your house. Here is the paperwork. Sign. And you will be looking. My goodness. What is happening to me again? I am now having this house. Are you serious? Are you really, really serious? <laughs> oh, somebody come to you and say, I heard your car broke down. You are now riding the city bus to your job. You say, oh, yeah. You are riding Uber or Lyft. You say, yes, I am. He say, okay. Um, take Uber to my house. Here is the address. Thank you. Bye. You say, when should I? They say, after work. Like, say, 6 o'clock, come out. And then you go out there. And when you go, they are standing out there waiting for you. You know, those disciplined, disciplined rich people. And you go, yeah, come on, come on in. You come in, there is... There's dinner ready. Join us. And they eat and talk about several things. Little cheetah, they don't talk much. Just some trivia. Nothing really serious. After that, the wife went inside, come out, give, put a key in your hand and a document. So you see that Mercedes Benz? That's yours. And this is a check. This is a check for 50,000 US dollars. Make sure you take care of that car and take care of yourself. Bye. And you'll be looking at what is going on here. They say, okay, bye, bye. We'll see you later, okay? Bye, bye, bye. And you enter and you turn that baby on and that baby, baby just sound good. It cries out. I have been waiting for you, man. Where have you been? Girl, I've been waiting for you. Girl, I've been waiting for you. Vicky, where have you been? Drive me. Let's go. Drive me to Hotel California. I'm ready. Drive me to Las Vegas. Drive me to Germany. I'm ready to go. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you. When you believe, when you know what I'm telling you, God will do the sneak in thing for you. I'm serious. This is not a story. This is to prepare you for the abundant life. The sneak in thing is the abundant life. The sneak in thing is the plenty life. God is going to sneak somebody in for you. God is going to sneak angels in for you. God is going to sneak the blood and the name of your king in for you. And God himself is going to sneak himself in and then sneak you in finally. From a gatekeeper to somebody who sits with the king. Isn't that interesting? From a gatekeeper, security, from security. You know those cheap security. Huh? Those cheap security. If a, if a robber shoots a gun into the air, they are on the run. Those security people are on the run. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. 
from a cheap ghetto security to living in a castle dressed in royal robes. And people who used to know you, people would say, Hi, Mordecai! Hi, Mordecai! You look at them, you wave at them slowly, and you just keep going. Because you are now royalty, you don't talk like that anymore. Say, what's wrong with this Mordecai? <laughs> eh? They say, shh, bow down, bow down. Others will be, those who have, you know, Mordecai is no longer walking by himself. He has police escort, military escort. He's coming through the street, people are bowing before him. Some people would then begin to, to say, how is life is so unfair? How is the gatekeeper now a prince? He's a Jew. For, the, for that matter, how did he become a prince? For heaven's sake, life is not fair. Like when Ladri and I get into, 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 into an argument, you know, she always, she, she is the girl that will make you. I used to ask, why did you not go and become an actress, please, for heaven's sake? She's good. She's good. Or a professor. She's very good. Look at what is happening. See what is going on here. You are now to write your own decree. Haman wrote his own decree in the name of the king and the kingdom. Now you are to write your own decree in the name of Esther, the queen, and her king. And in the name of the kingdom. And say, on behalf of the queen and the king, blah, 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 blah. We now revoke the letter that was written. See what is going to happen. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is what I like about this God. Hallelujah. Zelina, keep reading. I'm going to take you out for you to go and eat big food at Texas Roadhouse. That's where I'm taking you to for this reading tonight. It's too sweet. Every one of us, we are going to contribute money to go and fill that little tummy of yours until it bursts, until you run. You don't want it no more. You'll be singing, bread of heaven. You have fed me till I want no more. <laughs> yes, sir. A decree mm -hmm. concerning the Jews. As you please. In the king's name. In the king's name. And seal it with the king's sign it ring. Who now has, who, continue, continue, with the king's signet ring, who? Uh -huh. For whatever is written in the king's name and sealed with the king's signet ring, and whoever is found to be unworthy of the king's signet ring, no one can revoke. Who now has the king's signet ring? Who, have this, who, have, who has the king's signet ring now? Mordecai. Mordecai. Whoever has the ring has the thing. Please write it, write it down. Whoever has the ring has the thing. Hey! I have the thing, I have the thing, I have the thing. <laughs> I have it. You got the ring, you got the thing. You guys remember what Samantha's son asked me? Bishop Mary, do you have that man? Do you have that thing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was so funny. Where is Jessica tonight? Where is Jessica tonight? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mordecai now has the king's power of authority to deputize for the king in consultation with the king. And many things that Vashti and Haman did was not in consultation with royalty with the king. Oh, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Bam, 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 bam. 
When the sands go marching on, boom, boom. When the sands go marching on, boom, boom. Lord, I want to be in that number, boom, boom. When Mary go marching on, boom, boom. Mary, you hear that? When you go marching on, in case tomorrow you become Queen Esther, you better remember me, oh. Hey. All of you, all of you, all of you women and men, if you become, if you become Mordecai, or you become Esther, or you become king, if you forget me, ah, come on. Hey. The war that will happen on earth and in heaven has not yet, the one of Lucifer was a small one. Never forget, forget me. If you forget me, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> yeah. No, we won't forget you. Thank you, Zelina. You are good. See, that's why I call you Queen of the South. Go ahead, girl. Keep reading. Mm -hmm. So the king's scribes were called at that time in the third month, which is the month of Savan, on the 23rd day, and it was written, according to all that Mordecai commanded to the Jews. See, Mordecai now is the first prince among equals. Go ahead. To the Jews, the satraps, the governors, and the princess of the prince provinces from India to Ethiopia. Do you hear that? Please, 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 listen, listen. I want you to see how vast this guy's kingdom, Esther's husband's kingdom was. Please listen. They're now sending the, the scribe. Please read that portion. I want you to listen carefully because this may look like it was a tiny thing. We are talking about one of the greatest civilizations that has come and gone. Please read it again. This is so good. So the king's scribes were called at that time in the third month, month, which is the month of Savan, on the 23rd day, and it was written according to all that Mordecai commanded to the Jews, the satraps, the governors, and the princess of the provinces from India to Ethiopia, 127 provinces. Okay, stop there. All. 120 what? Huh? 127. 127 provinces. What does that mean? From India to Ethiopia. From Asia to Africa. That's how vast it is. What is provinces here? What does that mean? Huh? Nations, 127 nations made up this empire. We are talking about the medo persian Empire. This is big. What you are reading is big. This is the political and spiritual interplay of power in an empire. Like you are talking about the Roman Empire or the Greek Empire that spanned all the way from Rome to England. Think of it. This is from the Middle East to India all the way to Ethiopia. 127 nations. That's what they call provinces or states or territories. Nations. That's how big it is. You can imagine how much war that the patients have fought to conquer these places. And some of the wars they fought they were held, either held by their local gods, that is their empire gods, or they were held by the supreme god in heaven. Will somebody be crazy enough 
to see this kind of thing and toy and mess with it. Please. God is bringing many of you to an empire, to nations. Do not mess it up. Do not let your human nature come into what is big. That is going to keep you alive forever. Don't make that mistake. Because it's going to be very, very fatal. You lose your thrones. You lose your money. You lose your wealth. And you lose your life. If you joke with this kind of big thing. So this is not like uh, you look at America. You say, oh, America is big. Really? No. If America has 400 million people. Think about how many million people or billions of people were there in the 127 nations or provinces or territories or domains that make up an empire. When I was reading this, I immediately knew this is an empire. This is not a kingdom. This is not a kingdom. This is an empire. I knew it. And that tells me something. Ha <laughs> ha! See where Esther went in? And where Mordecai is sneaked in? Esther went in. They brought her in. Mordecai was sneaked in. Into this kind of empire. This big. This is big. It tells me one thing. You and I, we are going to be moved in. Some of us will be sneaked in. Some of us will be forced in by conditions and situations. But it will all watch the pattern. Watch the pattern. Watch the pattern. It will all result in this kind of story. The reason for the story of Esther is so that you become that story. You become that story. The process, the process and the dignified end result comes from fasting and prayer. Supernatural warfare is what is going on here. What is going on here? And the same pattern is what is showing up here. That's what is going to happen to you. Some of you are going to become kings, queens, princes, princesses, dukes, Duchess, president, prime ministers, leaders of big brand names, institutions, businesses, this will happen in my lifetime with those of you who are covenant partners. Those of you whose burnt offering I've started to pray about tonight. If you've not yet sent in your burnt offering, I'm putting them together. I'll start praying over them. They will never be used. They will be there. Till after the celebration of my ordination. Of my anniversary. Not my birthday. But that's the big one. It's the celebration of the years of ministry. When I go through renewal. To prepare myself to go to the next year. For what I do for God. That was then on July 29th. This year it falls on a Sunday. The day of resurrection. This is big. That's the day that I will finish. Working on every bent offering. That has been released into this ministry. It will be on July 29th. On the day of my anniversary. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Before we go ahead, some things just um, stood out to me. In the New Living Translation, it says, this happened on June the 25th. <laughs> and today is June the 25th. <laughs> <laughs> right. Are you serious? 
And today is June the 25th. That's crazy. I'm loving this. What a coincidence. What is going on with this meeting? I don't know. What is going on with this meeting? I need some attorneys, some, some wise men, and some and some Holy Ghost magicians to tell me something. Some 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 Holy Ghost miracle workers. Kai, this is good. This is really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, thank you for that. That's a good one. All right, let's go to the next verse. Okay, the next verse is 10. Mm -hmm. And he wrote in the name of King Ahasuerus. We are going to stop at verse number, we, we will start tomorrow at verse number 10. We'll start at verse number 10. And you see that in verse number 9, the first people to whom it was written to was the Jews. And I will tell you the reason tomorrow. The first people to whom this decree is going to be written to are the Jewish people. So that they will stop panicking. Tomorrow afternoon, we are going to continue to look at a medium divination, the blessing and the curse and how it works. If you were not during this afternoon's ministration, please, you need to be there. You need to be there tomorrow's afternoon. This is fascinating. It's big. Thank you very much. Even though some of the videos might be long, they are made to be a library. They are a library of supernatural warfare. That's what they are meant to be. Yeah. They are meant to be a library of supernatural warfare. So I don't care how many videos it is. It's meant for your learning and for your application. It's not meant for cheap things or for quick, quick watching and for something that you just watch quickly and go to the next. Ah, ah, ah. This is not. This is something. This is a library. This is a library concerning one theme, one theme. So tomorrow, we will start at verse number nine, and we will go on. And we hope to finish the story of Esther tomorrow uh, Tomorrow night. That's my desire. My desire is to, to get it all finished tomorrow night. Then we will go into something else. It's a lot. Now, I will want you to do me a favor that starting tomorrow, please make sure that you check your your Idikai Imeri channel. Check the channel. Because I will be putting videos, broadcasts on our channels that we will not have time to do. We will not have time to do. So please do check them because there will be there will be broadcasts that will be coming off its own without a conference call so that I can catch up because I want to make sure that at the end of June I've covered everything on this. That's my deadline. So I'm going to work. I'm going to stay awake for some nights. There will be some night that I'm going to stay awake to work on this library until we fill it up. So that when you want anything concerning supernatural warfare or spiritual warfare or deliverance, you got it. You got a big library to consult. We will also want to have a big library concerning the person of Jesus, the person of the Holy Ghost, the person of God the Father. You know? We will have a big library on prayer itself, not, not supernatural warfare, on prayer alone. So many things. We have not done anything on prof prophets and prophecies. Mary, make sure you write that down, Vicky. Prophets and prophecies. We've not even scratched that. We've not done anything on speaking in tongues and the different baptisms of the Holy Ghost, the fruits, the operations.
They manifest. We've not even done anything on that. And these are all huge libraries that I want us to explore. We pick one of it. We exhaust it. We let every other thing. It's tempting because things are just been pouring into me from the department I belong up there. Things have been pouring to me. But I'm getting myself disciplined yeah, yeah. To, to stay on a theme and we finish that library. And we exhaust everything about it. And then we go to something else. Yeah. I love you all. Thank you very much. Please yeah, keep praying for me. I'm praying for you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, Miss Vicky. Yay! <laughs> Good night. Good night.